I'm teacher Vivian and today we are going to do a home activity. Our home activity is based on um, emotions. Our book that we had read was called Sharing Time Troubles and as you can see right here this little boy looks a little nervous scratching his head and I noticed he doesn't have anything in his hands. These two children have stuff in their hands perhaps to share. So the book goes over um, about feelings and how maybe he felt um, because he didn't know what to share, um, looking in his room to find something to share and he wasn't too sure until uh, he did find something and then feeling a little bit happy because I see now a smiley face on him. So for our home activity for social emotional support, um, we can just simply have a conversation and do some drawing and talk to our children, um, maybe asking them, hmm, I wonder what this little face looks like right here. And if they say, oh, he's sad, he's crying, you can say, yeah, I wonder what happened. Why do you think maybe he's sad? What do you think might have happened? What makes you sad? Why do you sometimes cry? You know, and then if you show them another face, hmm, I wonder what this one is. Maybe they might say, oh, he's yelling, his mouth is open, or he looks surprised because he's going, oh, like he's surprised. So just going over some basic emotions and that it's okay to have different emotions. Sometimes we don't feel that great and we might be a little angry or upset, but it's good to talk about what's going on so we can let that emotion out and we can know that maybe we need a little bit of space. Maybe we need a little bit of alone time so this way, we can be happy and feel better about ourselves. So this is just a simple home activity, talking to your child, asking them, hmm, how do you feel today? What do you wanna do today? What do you think the weather is out there? I wonder how that weather is making us feel today. Maybe it's cloudy. Maybe some kids like it when it's cloudy and they get excited. Maybe some children get sad when it's cloudy outside because they say maybe they can't go outside because it's too cold. Um, whatever the circumstance may be, just talking to your child in regards to different types of emotion is a good way for them to express how they feel. So I hope you give this a try and see how your children feel by sharing some emotion faces by you drawing or having your children draw some faces and see what they come up with. 